Hello, I'm John Kneebone and welcome to Mainline Baits Carp Fishing TV and another how-to video where today I'm going to show you how to tie a very versatile pop-up rig and that's the multi-rig. So let's get into it. The multi-rig is most commonly used as a pop-up rig either with match the hatch style pop-ups like these cell pop-ups or a high-vis pop-up like this. To tie this rig we're going to use a coated braid like this. We've also got a size 6 choddy hook and then we've got an anti-tangle sleeve. We've also got a micro ring swivel that we're going to be using for attaching our hook bait, a standard boily baiting needle and some putty just to counterbalance that pop-up. We've got some bait floss for attaching our hook bait and then we've got a lighter for just blobbing off that bait floss. We've then got a pullet tool for tightening down our knots and a sharp pair of scissors for tidying up any tag ends. I've then got some lead core here but I'm only going to use the wire insert and you'll see why later in the video. Okay so let's put this rig together. The first thing that we're going to do is to pull off our hook link, I'm going to use 12 to 14 inches there so that we've got plenty to work with. Just cut that away. And the first thing that we're going to do is fold one end of that material back upon itself to create a large loop like this, probably a few inches long. And we're now going to tie a figure of eight loop knot. So I'm going to make one overhand loop. I'm then going to take the first loop under that loop grab my boily baiting needle and pull that first loop back through the second loop like so and there we go we've created a figure of eight loop knot there just gonna moisten that with a little saliva before pulling it down and we just gently snug that down but just to make sure it's really secure we'll get the pullet tool we can now give that really good pull it might seem a little bit fiddly that knot but it is super strong there we go that's tightened down nicely and there we go we've got a long loop at one end of that hook link we can now just tidy it up just by trimming off the tag end get rid of that and now we take the other end of our hook link, thread on our anti-tangle sleeve and just thread that down onto the hook link. And now at this end of the hook link, we're going to tie a second figure of eight loop knot. This is so that we can attach the rig quickly to a quick change swivel. So again, we make one loop, take our first loop under that second loop, get the needle, Pull that first loop through the second, gently tighten it down and there we go we've got our figure of eight knot tied. We have just moisten that down with a little saliva just so that we can tighten it down without any friction. So now we just take our pulley tool, tighten that down nice and secure. Like I said it's a really good knot this one. Might seem a bit fiddly but it's definitely worth mastering and just trim off that tag end. We can now take the sleeve, thread that back over that knot. It's a bit of a tight fit, but it will wiggle up over the knot. And there we go. That's the sleeve in position, nice and neat. We can now go back to the first loop that we tied and just take that through the eye of our hook like so. There you go. And now we just take our micro ring swivel. Just gonna lick my finger just so it sticks to it, makes it easy to hold. Thread that onto the loop. And now we can pass the hook up through that loop. And now we just want to set the size and shape of the D section. So I want it beginning roughly there opposite the barb of the hook, just pull that loop down a little bit and there we go, 
that's that section of the rig complete so we can now attach our hook bait so just take a little bit of the dental floss around about five inches thread that through the end of that micro ring swivel there we go even up both of the tag ends and then we can take our baiting needle thread on our hook bait I just like to then fold that floss over my finger nice and tight so that I can then use the needle to pull that through the hook bait then you just need to find which is the two loose tag ends and just tease them up through the hook bait like so and then get a good grip of that bait floss and just pull that swivel up inside of the hook bait like so and that's already doing a great job of gripping that hook bait and holding it into position but we're also going to take the lighter and just blob down that bait floss flatten it off with the back of the lighter there you go that's it that's our pop-up securely in position to add movement to the hook bait end of the rig i've just removed around about a centimeter or so of the outer coating of the braid down near the knot okay now we can take a little bit of that lead core wire that i showed you earlier and just begin wrapping that around our hook link about halfway along it I just save these small pieces or keep them back when I'm splicing up leg cord leaders just gives them a little bit of use so just wrap that around and then just pull all those little cords of wire up tight together just easily snap off the two tag ends and there you can see we're just left with the perfect gripping point for the next component which is a small piece of putty so just grab our putty there just pinch off just a little bit just give it a little mold between my finger and thumb and then push that onto that lead core wire like I say it's perfect for gripping our putty it won't fall off and then we just mold that between my finger and thumb just to a nice neat barrel like shape like this and we can now take a larger pinch of that putty it's weighted with tungsten so it's going to be perfect for balancing out our pop-up we're just going to mold that around that figure of eight loop knot that we tied earlier and just push it into the knot and then just using your finger and thumb just roll it gently until it's molded into a nice neat barrel and there we go that's perfect for holding our hook bait down to the lake bed and there you go that's our multi rig complete all you need to do is just check that putty and balance of the rig in the edge before casting out with that loop at one end it's easy to attach to a quick change swivel like this either on a leg clip system or on a heli system and here's one of the biggest benefits of the multi rig and that's the fact that you can change your hook without having to tie a new fresh rig. So should you blunt in the hook or your hook is dulled after landing a fish, you can just simply remove the hook off the loop, add a fresh hook bait, a fresh hook, pass the hook back through that loop, recreate and shape your D section, and there you go, you've got a multi-rig with a fresh sharp hook ready to go. You can now see that the hook is positioned at an aggressive angle and that the hook bait can be positioned quite tight to the lake bed dependent on the length of the loop used to attach the hook. The micro ring swivel and pop up as freedom of movement on that D section and upon ejection from a carp's mouth should move forwards over the eye of the hook which will in turn position the point in a downwards angle into the bottom lip. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the notification button so you know when our next video is coming out. If you don't yet subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscription button below. It's really important. And if you'd like to watch more step-by-step, -step, easy to follow rig videos, I'll leave links to those here. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.